Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe this is the last week of Vlogmas. Like, where did the time go? Ah. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all of the black owned clothing and accessories that I bought this year. But first, hi, hello. Welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. My name is Dr. Ijama Kola. We're now putting doctor all the time because that is my title, so that's who I am. At the beginning of the year, I made a commitment that I was only going to buy clothes and I think I also said, yeah, I just said clothes. So clothes, shoes, and accessories from black owned businesses and boutiques. So that was something that I just kind of felt like put on my heart to do. One of the largest expenditures for me personally is clothing. So I figured like what better way to really inject money into the black economy by buying black exclusively. And kind of made it a thing called IK Buys Black. I think that was the hashtag. I should have like put a whole like more creative campaign behind it, but it was just called IK Buys Black. <laughs> um, so if you wanna scroll on Instagram and see a couple of the purchases that I've made this year, feel free to do so. Although I am sharing with you every single thing that I have bought this year, almost everything. There are a couple of things that I bought that didn't actually make it to me here. I often like buy stuff and send them to my parents. My parents just came. <laughs> so they brought me back a lot of things. So I'm gonna show you, I'm so excited because there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff to get through. I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek about how much stuff to get through. Like there's, I have a pile, like there's a whole pile of clothing right here. <laughs> so there's a lot to cover. So let's get right on into it. So I hope that y'all can hear me because there is a huge, like really loud wedding happening outside. I'm kind of insulted because I wasn't invited and they're blasting their music mad loud. But first thing I'm gonna talk about is this. I'm also trying to hear if my son woke up. Yep, he just woke up. Wow, okay, we're just gonna have to, I'll be back. <laughs> so I'm back. So the first outfit that I want to share with you is what I'm actually wearing right now. So I'm wearing some uh, like loungewear sets, like a sweatshirt, sweatpants. And they're actually by a collaboration with Janae Taylor, who's on Instagram or on socials, is called High Low Lux. That's her handle. She did a collaboration with Amazon. So Amazon has something called Amazon The Drop, where they will partner with influencers and like they will create a custom clothing line, like, like a mini collection, if you will. And Amazon will make it and then they will have 24 hours or 20, it's like a little bit plus 24 hours to sell it. So I picked up this sweat suit, <laughs> if you will, because I needed more loungewear. And this is actually probably the only casual thing that is in this collection. And yeah, I just like don't wear these clothes that I buy. So I figured like, let me actually just start buying stuff that I could wear. So I bought this um, sweatsuit. So I'm gonna give you a little look. Uh, I tucked it in so that it could have a little bit of depth, but yeah, it just looks like that. It's cute, it ties here, it's really comfortable. So that is purchase number one. I am gonna disclose for each of these things whether I bought them with my own money or whether they were gifted to me. Uh, a good number of brands actually did gift me things this year. I think as they saw that I was doing this Buy Black feature, you know, they wanted to be included in that. And I was like, you know, sure. I will feature you for free. Let me continue to help support and spotlight black owned businesses because they are the heart and soul of our economy. So, so this is Janae Taylor slash Hilo Lux in collaboration with Amazon The Drop. So this is my first look. Now I'm gonna try and do this in collections or categories, really just based on how things are hung up in my closet. So I'm gonna start with blazers and dresses. So this is another collaboration that was done uh, by Shad Batal and ASOS. So she did a collection with ASOS where I think she, she designed stuff. But I bought a blazer because I love me a good blazer. And this is like a nice off-white color, kind of actually a really similar color to the sweatsuit that I'm wearing. Something that's really cool about this blazer is that it actually has like open sleeves, which just gives it a really like very casual, is it a casual? It, maybe it could be dressy. It just gives it a very different vibe. And it has, it's double breasted, which I like too, because I have a light blazer, a white blazer, but it's single breasted, so 
yeah, this is something different. That's that. Another blazer that I have is a blazer dress that I actually wore for my 100K picture. Like when I crossed 100K followers on Instagram, I had to celebrate, took a picture, and I wore this dress, which is a white blazer dress. I actually bought it here in Kenya. It's from a boutique called Hentel Official. Yeah, it's super cute. It's just a little short, and I think a little bit like more like birthday dinner club outfit. So I don't really see myself getting much more use out of it. So I am selling it. I'm not gonna go clean it again because I just got lipstick on it. I'm saying I'm selling it in my closet sale. If you wanna pick it up and if you're my size. All right, moving on to dresses. I picked up this dress from, this is by Hanifa. Yes, this is by Hanifa, which is, oh, I just like love everything that Hanifa puts out. This is one of the dresses from their pink label, Congo pink label, or I think pink label Congo line. And this is my birthday dress. I wore it to my 30th birthday. It is as sexy as a lot of boob. <laughs> so if you're really busty, I mean, it depends on how much you're willing to show or eager to show, but it is, it's just really, really cute. And it has ruching at the bottom. And yeah, I wore it on my birthday. I really liked it. I'm looking forward to opportunities to wear it again. I also think it would look really cute with a turtleneck if I were styling myself for winter. Although, thank God I no longer am. So that is my Hanifa dress. Moving on in the dress category, we have a dress that was gifted to me. The only Ankara piece that I acquired this year. Um, I just have so much Ankara in my closet and I I'm actually not really a fan of Ankara. Not that I'm not a fan of Ankara, it's just so bright and colorful, and as you, you'll be able to see, I prefer to buy like, muted colors, creams, and oranges, and rests. So I love, 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 love the print of this wrap dress. This is by Crown Elegance. They actually sent this to me, so this was a gift. Really comfortable. One, like, yo, everybody needs to start doing this. The inside is actually lined with, like, a silk sateen fabric. So one of the issues with Ankara is that sometimes it can just, it's just like not like comfortable. So it doesn't really feel luxe on your skin, but this dress does because they've lined it with silk. So I was just like, oh my gosh, if anytime I ever get anything sewn ever again, like I'm having them line it with silk. Cause that's brilliant. William from Crown Elegant Fashion, you are a genius, homie. So yes, this is a really cute, dress that I think will work for a really long time. So I'm excited to keep it in my closet. So next up we have one of my favorite designers of all of 2020. I think that I now have four outfits from this place, which is Imad Edesu. Ede, no, Eduso. <laughs> Imad Eduso, she's a Nigerian brand that specializes in really well tailored, I wanna call them, what fabric is this? I'm, I'm not a fabric person, so I'm, I'm a, I'm gonna just show you the fabric, which is this blouse. Can you see this blouse? I bought this for our family holiday photos, which you'll see on Instagram later this week, but they just like make sets like, oh yeah, I guess you can buy separates, but I bought this top and it comes with this skirt. All their pieces, the tailoring is just really, really clean and crisp and the zippers work. Y'all know like some Nigerian stuff, the zippers don't work well, but the back of this top is super cute. It has like a, just kind of like a, it's a little sexy little cut. And then the skirt has a lot of drama, which I really, really loved. It was just perfect for our family photos if I can get it off the hanger. Should have taken all these stuff off the hanger before getting started, but. It's a pencil skirt, but then it has this like drapery situation in the front. Super, super beautiful. I absolutely loved wearing it. There we go. <sighs> yeah, that was just one of the pieces that I have from them. And again, I bought, I bought this one. The very first one that I bought was actually this one, which is a, I've worn this like so many times now, but it is a shirt with like a ruffle sleeve detail and then a pair of high waisted blue trousers with like another ruffle detail at the waist. So love, love, love this set. This is the set that started like my obsession, really. I feel like I probably have like a third of the collection by this point. So actually this is the first one that I bought. The red one was the last one that I bought. The blue one was the first one that I bought. And then the middle one that I bought, so the second one that I bought was this white number. Oh, love a good white. I feel like this would have been so perfect for like my bridal shower had the brand existed back then. So this is an asymmetrical um, shoulder top. It comes with an, another just like high-waisted, wide leg, white trouser. But then, then they also sent me another pair of trousers after I had bought the white set. And these ones are like a wide bottom 
with a culotte that has ruffles on the bottom. So super, super cute. Like, oh my gosh, whenever I wear this on Instagram, I get so many. And I say on Instagram because I don't be going nowhere in real life. So I wear them on Instagram. <laughs> I get so many compliments. They're such a cute pair of pants and they work for like, I think for all situations. Like they work for formal wear, they work, I wear them on vacation like as a cover up and they also totally work there. So those are all of my Imad et Desu pieces. So I have a blue set, a red set, a white set. If you like other colors, they have like pinks and purples and greens. If y'all are watching, homies, make a girl something in some nude, in a beige, in a tan, in a camel, in a rust, please. <laughs> Since we're on the sets thing, let me show you this amazing set. Whew. So this set by Christine Brown, who is a designer in Ghana. Yo, this, I'm actually just gonna put this one on because, uh, the luxury, like when I put this on, I feel like, can we just get into this deep, like this print mixing right here? What? What? Come on. Oh, don't you just wanna like saunter around with a glass of wine, oh, not even wine, champagne. So, so, so nice. And I bought it with the matching palazzo pants which also have this like silkish fabric uh, with the insert of Ankara. So I'm loving creative uses of Ankara. Not a huge Ankara person, but if this pants were just made in this fabric, they wouldn't have the same flow, the same softness, the same movement. But once you combine it, really, Christine, this is a formula, don't mess it up. Just be redoing and I'll buy every color for real. Seriously, so, so nice. That is one of my other sets. So another set that I bought this year, and I didn't feel like really feel like this is the year of sets for me. It's just so easy to get dressed when like things already match. <laughs> so I have this top, and I don't know what fabric to call this, but it's kind of like very stretchy, bouncy fabric. And it comes with, or it came with, these bottoms that are similar fabric. These are more, uh, I would also call them culottes. They're not really, they're not capris because they're a little bit wider. They're not, and they're not full length either. So they're not really like, pala I don't feel comfortable calling them pants. So I'm gonna say that this is a culotte <laughs> and like loose knit top set. And this is by the brand called Fully Covered Still Fly. So it's a boutique run by blogger Christina Quartank. And yeah, this is just really, really comfortable. I think this is actually, aside from what I'm wearing now, this is probably the only other more casual, but then you can also dress this up. Like, it's a very versatile set. Another one that anytime I wear, people always ask me where it's from. So, love, love, love that. In terms, oh, here, I found those pants I was looking for by Imad Adesu. Here are those white pants. I don't know why they are on a separate hanger, but they're, they're just a white, they don't have the ruffle like the blue ones. They're just a really simple, straight leg white pants, but really, really well tailored and well done. This is a kimono by Bloom Kenya. I actually bought this for our holiday photo shoot because I wasn't sure that the outfit that I bought from Imad A Duso was gonna arrive on time. Um, so I bought this kimono, ended up not wearing it for the photo shoot, but still planning on wearing it. It comes in tons of different colors as well. And one thing I like about it is it has a cute sleeve detail. So it's like a dome and sleeve. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is super cute. I haven't worn it yet, but I, I do, I have tried it on several times and it does feel really good. And it's not too long. I think one of my, I can never complain about Christy Brown, but that kimono is long. It drags on the floor. This one doesn't. Another kimono that I bought this year is this one by Shop New Level, which is a brand by Nancy Mwai here in Kenya. This is, it's black and white. It has a, a kind of more of like a bat. I'm like making up these sleeve names as I talk. <laughs> like a bat sleeve, so it's like a big, like a bigger sleeve. Really cute for throwing over just like a black dress, like a black uh, bodycon dress. I've worn it like that before, or over jeans and a white tee. That's cute, or oh, as a swimmer cover up. Come on, those are so versatile. I feel like blazers were like really my like signature look for the entire time I was in grad school. I feel like I just like the idea of layering something, whether that's a blazer or a kimono. I just want to layer something. I feel like the third layer is what gives an outfit that elevation. Cause you could be wearing a basic t-shirt and jeans, but then you throw something on like this on top and some earrings and you look like you really tried when you really did it. So I bought something else from, oops. I bought something else from Shop New Level, which was a dress. 
this dress. So I bought this like baby girl, baby doll little dress from Shop New Level. Yeah, just a short white dress. Really simple, really versatile. I love to see it, easy to wear. Other things that I have bought in Kenya have been a lot of things from this company called Siri Studio, which again, I really think that this is the year that I bought a lot of tailored pieces. I think that is what, and you know why? I feel like being postpartum, the fact that something was like well cut and not frumpy made me feel as if I was like well cut and not frumpy and kind of just made me feel a little bit better about my body. So I did definitely gravitate towards a lot of, especially earlier in the year, a lot of like straight lines, well tailored pieces. Yeah, anyway, Siri Studio does that really, really well. So I bought this top that is like a whatever fabric this is, I don't know how to describe it, but it's sheer, um, it's a sheer something. The sleeves are um, a little bit elasticated, so it, it has some structure on the arms, and it came with this little belt. I wore this for my branding photos, my like 20, new 2020 branding photos. It's just like, this is really my, this plus, where are those pants? Da -da -da. Here we go. This is the outfit that I wore for my branding photos. And this is really like, these are my colors, these are my colors. I will talk about these pants when I do. <laughs> so that's another thing I bought from Siri Studio. I bought this like leopard top. It's kind of a crop top, but a classy crop top. It like hits right above a high-waisted jean. And it has that similar like elastic sleeve situation. Yeah, this is super cute. And then another top that I bought, same situation, white top. Also crop top, elastic at the bottom, and elastic at the sleeves. So this is more of like a puff sleeve top, whereas the other one is more like an elastic sleeve top. So those are my Series Studio purchases. I also have a pair of, aha, a pair of shorts, except that these are not too big. I actually got these like custom to my size, and I lost weight after getting them made. <laughs> so they're slightly big, but they are a white short, and they are about, maybe like two inches above the knee, so not short. And that's kind of what I was going for, something a little bit classy, a little bit more tailored. So those are my Siri Studio purchases. The last thing that is made in Kenya is this kimono by Style Tech, which this was a gift. This was a gift to me, and I wore it recently on Instagram, but I also wear it around the house. I do feel like someone could style this like out in real life. I don't know if I'm that someone, but <laughs> again, I just really like the idea about of combining fabric. So they've combined this like really sturdy animal print fabric with this like really like soft satin. So I think it makes for like a nice combination. And so this also in the sleeves here and also in the belt. So yeah, I like this little robe. Makes me feel cozy and, and cute and comfortable at home. One more made in Kenya brand, but this is active wear. And we'll go back to other things. So I bought three sets of active wear. So where am I working out? I'm working out. These are by Genio Sport. I don't know if these are made in Kenya. It's a Kenyan brand. I actually don't think it's made in Kenya. I think it's made in China. Does it say so? No, they don't, it doesn't say so. Does the pants say so? Nope, but I, I really like them. I like the idea of matching active wear, like matching sets. It's been a long time since I bought you workout clothes, so I deserve. And they were having a 50% sale at some point in November, so I bought me three pairs. Really, really enjoy every single one of them. This is the one that I have shot um, on Instagram. Well, I also have shot that yellow one, but I don't think I've posted it yet. So yeah, Genio Active. So yeah, those are my, I'm pretty sure, no, one more thing that I bought from a Kenyan company. Oh. Also, just found my series studio pants. These yellow pants, they are slightly high-waisted, not too long, I love that about them. And they're really just like, like this is a good fabric. I don't know what fabric this is, but it doesn't feel flimsy. It doesn't feel flimsy, it's very comfortable, it's not sheer. So yeah, I love, love, love these pants. But they're also, I feel like they're both casual and formal. Like, I've worn them to more formal events and I've worn them, like, I'll wear it with a graphic t-shirt and sneakers and like still feel like I'm doing something. So that's that. And the last thing um, is a swimwear that I bought. Oh gosh, so tangled. Why is it so tangled? Okay, this bikini from Ohana. Yes, Ohana. 
It is sort of like a little kente print. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. I wore it when I went to Lamu. I was, that was my baby free vacay this year. So it's just a triangle bikini. It looks so small right here, but I promise you it fits. <laughs> and then um, a, these, they look like they're high cut, but they're actually not that high cut, which I appreciate because some of these high cut bikinis, like girl, I need some covered. <laughs> so let me wrap up with the rest of my tops. And then I have a couple of shirts left, a couple of accessories. So we're, we're getting there. We're almost done, we're almost done. I have this shirt by Phenol, which is an American brand, but the founder I think is Caribbean. So it is a white button down, but it actually doesn't button, which I really love. It's just like kind of cool. So you can wear it uh, open. I've worn it tied. You can also kind of like fold it over itself and then tie it with the belt that's included. So I've worn it that way too. Really comfortable, really chic. I really like wearing white button downs. So I bought a white button down, like a relaxed white button down. Another in the white button down family <laughs> is this button down by Kai Collective. She's in the UK. And this one is like a really true puff sleeve. Like these are like pretty thick sleeves and love these buttons. They're super cute. Yeah, I wore this early in the year. I actually haven't worn it in a really long time. So I feel like I over wore it like when I first got it, but it's cute. I like, I don't know, I need to put this back on. It's super cute. Another button down that I have is by Lide Fash. It's another Nigerian brand. They sent this to me, so this was gifted. And what I like about this one is that it has buttons like on the sides to just add a little bit more tailoring. So sometimes button downs can be very boxy and just like straight up and down. But with the way they place these additional buttons, I think it helps form this top more to the female body as opposed to like the straight up and down, which is like a more boxy or like a more male thing. So I really like this. It doesn't have a collar. So yeah, it's just a really, really cute. As I said, I love me a good white button down. So I have a couple of them and I acquired a couple of them this year. Another thing that I have by Lade Fash is another sheer top. Although I haven't worn this one yet, this one is black and I just haven't really figured out where to wear it to or where to style it. It's already kind of a wrap situation and it has a collar, like a drop collar. So yeah, I haven't yet worn this yet. I don't really know how to style it. So if you have suggestions for me, feel free to let me know down below. A beautiful top that I bought this year is by Asiami Gold. This is a puff sleeve top. Puff sleeves were really, really in um, 2020, also 2019. It has an open back, which I love. Very sexy, very, very sexy. <laughs> so you just like crisscross the back and tie it. I will say, it's itchy. Like this is a really scratchy fabric. That's my only complaint. I think it's super beautiful. It's so sexy, but it's itchy on me. But I do love it though. I really do love it. I have this top by Andrea Iyama and it's not on a hanger because it's being sold. It's a wrap top. I mean, essentially, I just like don't really have the boobs to wear it. But uh, another similar, very, very similar sleeve to the Asiami Gold top. So kind of like a balloon sleeve with a like a more structured cuff. This is also really, really pretty. Also for sale, my closet sale. If you want to let your girls hang out, I can't. But if you want to, feel free to shop my closet sale and take it off my hands. I did recently buy this top by Chen Burkett, which now that I'm looking at it, I'm trying to understand how it works. Aha. Uh -huh. So it is one of those like tie it yourself, multi-weight tops. Ooh, let's play around with it right now. Cute, cute, cute. So I don't know if it's supposed to be reversible, but it has two sides. So let's see what we can do. I have a dress like this by, what do you call it? What's that brand? Diara Blue, which I love. Not a dress, it's a jumpsuit. I love the idea of like multi-way uh, materials because you can just do whatever. I feel like this is like the go-to way that I typically tie and go around. I'm gonna need a lesson on how to tie this because I'm clearly struggling. Maybe let me start from the back. Okay, yes, okay, great. Start from the back. Right, right. Now we can do this, do this. 
I'm gonna pick this up crisscross like this and then pull it through. I'm literally making this up as I go, but I think it's gonna be cute. Okay, so then this one needs to be pulled through somewhere. I don't, I did not, did not do that side correctly. But say I did do it correctly and then I did this. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like I just did a hot mess. But then imagine if I wasn't wearing any clothes or underneath, like imagine if just the brown is the top. You see how there's potential here for something? Not really what I did, but there's potential here. So I basically bought this to be a Oh gosh, what I did was not at all cute. The waistband was terrible. I don't know what I was doing. I need instructions. <laughs> but the fabric is really cool. You know what fabric it reminds me of? And this is like not in a bad way. It's actually in a really comfortable way, but it reminds me of the fabric that I use for like our baby sling. <laughs> Like to wear my son. It just feels super, super comfortable. So anyway, this is a top that I just bought by Chen Burkett, who is a designer in me. Um, and yeah, I bought it so it could be like just a versatile top. I love the fact that it's both ways. I just, I mean both ways. It can wear it with the brown or with the cream. I just gotta figure out how to wear it since I clearly don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that was a nice shot, that was a nice shot. All right, another top that I bought this year, this is a top slash bodysuit slash bathing suit, is this number by Fanoel. Massive sleeves, so cute. I wore this on vacation as well. It has a cutout here. I sadly, and then this happened with a lot of the stuff that I bought early in the year, but it's just a lot of it is too big. So it's, I bought this and I should have bought a small. This is a medium, so it's slightly too big. I, I just assumed that it would be not as stretchy and there's a lot of space in the bottom. So it doesn't fit me that great as a bathing suit, but I definitely still wear it as a top because the top fits me fine. It's the bottom that's like a little loose. So that is my Chen Burkett purchase. We're getting there. So two pants that I bought this year. I didn't buy that many pants that were already in a set, but I did buy these leather pants from The Chemist in who's based in the UK. Another sad, sad story because these are just too big. They're massive and they don't have like belt holes. So it's hard to cinch in. Plus leather, you can't really like, when you cinch in leather, it makes it look, it look like a, ugh, it makes it look like a paper bag and it's just not, it ain't it. So that's, um, these are also for sale. <laughs> they're super cute and they're all pretty, pretty pricey and they're definitely worth the price. It's just that they're not my size. And then one last pair of pants that I bought this year were, these pants by Shop FS. I always say FS. FKSP, which is Folake Kuye. Sorry, girl. Style Pantry. Um, so, a vlogger who can launch her own fashion line and is killing it. I know I have friends who buy a lot of stuff from them. This is the only thing I've bought so far because, again, these are my colors. But yeah, I really like the quality of these pants. They're a smidgen long, but I do, do, do really like them. Okay, oh, the music is back, so it might be super loud, but we're towards the end of my haul. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Love it all though. This is a dress that I was recently gifted, and it's just so beautiful, so I wanna show it to you. We're getting into the loungewear, homewear portion, so we're winding down. How pretty is this dress? Like how beautiful is this print right here? So this is by an artist called Fiona, but her brand is called Anaya Arts. Yeah, I also have a painting or two paintings, artwork. I don't know if they're painted or not. I don't know. I think they're prints. They're definitely prints. <laughs> so I have them and they're going up in my bedroom, hanging them up today for my bedroom reveal that's coming up later this week. So I've been patiently waiting. They're one of the things that I was eating get delivered before I could finish the video or finish really styling my bedroom and AKA finish the video. So yeah, she also sent along this shirt that I'm hoping kind of fits me. I I feel like it's probably just gonna be a day dress. Although I could wear it out, I could definitely wear it out, but it's feeling so comfortable that I just wanna like take a nap in it. It feels so comfortable. All right, I know that I said we were doing loungewear, but I did forget one piece of swimwear that I bought this year, which is this bathing suit by Andrea Iyama. I wore this in Diani for my 30th birthday. I love how I'm trying it on right now, although there's a photo of me in it, but I just, it's just mad cute. So cute, these ruffles, 
can go like across like this. They can go, like they can go. They can actually cover the um blah, 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 like the bikini top <laughs> if you want. Oh, I'm young, losing steam. This video is so long. <laughs> These bottoms are one of the bottoms with more coverage by Andre and Yama. So there's those are them high waisted. It wasn't a very high waisted situation this year because um, I wasn't 100 confident with my tummy after having a baby. But you know. It is what it is. One more loungewear that I bought. I bought these um, bike shorts by Nubian Skin. I have bras by them, I have slips by them, I have camisoles by them, um, but I got these. I, these are actually sold on ASOS, so it's sometimes nice when you can find black owned things at, at depart, not department stores, but at larger retailers. If you already shop on ASOS and you want to like pick up some black owned businesses, like there are a couple, very few, but there are a couple on there. I just got this, like literally was delivered this week, but Velve Lux London sent me a bunch of pajamas. So I'm gonna open them and show them to you. I never really like cared about pajamas, but a girl's got, I think because I'm always being woken up in the middle of the night to breastfeed this child, I'm like, let me at least be cute, you know? <laughs> so they are these flannel pajamas that are, these are legit flannel, like these, I, I think it's too warm for me to wear these right now. So she sent me these ones. Then she also sent me like a softer, lighter pair. Let's see if I can. All right, so this is a sh pair of, this is a short sleeve top and I think these were shorts. Oh, these are tiny, but cute. So yeah, this is a set that I could wear right now with this. So there's that set, a lot. She sent a whole lot. <laughs> then she also sent, this is like a yellowish set. These are a long pajama. So this is like a lighter long pajama, whereas the flannel ones were a thicker long pajama. Oh, I bought this recently. I totally forgot about it. So this is not Velve Lux. This is actually Shop New Level again. I bought this yesterday. I totally forgot that it was in this bag, but I bought this wrap dress by Shop New Level. Um, and it is what I'm planning on wearing, I think, to my son's birthday party. So that's that. Okay, we are officially done with clothing. So there aren't that many accessories. So I'm just gonna go through them really, really quickly. Some of them, like, <sighs> Sadly, haven't arrived yet, which I don't even understand how that's possible, but it is what it is. So I bought these shoes by Brother Bellies, and they are a really just like sexy nude thong sandal. That's that's really it. That's really all there is to it. I really like them, and I haven't worn them out though, and so I am concerned that the flip flop isn't really practical in terms of like walking in a heel. But they cute. <laughs> I have this hat by Shop Caribbean Cowgirl. It is, I call it my Louboutin hat because it has, you know, red on the bottom. This is super cute and I like that it's also adjustable inside. Ignore this green thing. This is like, I tried to stick it on the wall with stuff that did not work. So you can kind of tighten it on the inside to make it fit a little bit tighter. So your head, if you have a smaller head, but I have a big head, so I don't have a big head, but I'm usually wearing this with a wig, which then adds bulk to my head. This is the bag I was gifted, which is by Serep and Rose. It is a tote bag. It's actually called the Kenya tote bag. And I think it's made with leather from Kenya. I think so. It's such a good size. I was talking about this in cohorts this is the other day because we are talking about bags for school. And the Madewell tote bag, Madewell transport tote, is one of my go-to tote bags. I also have an away tote bag, which is also really nice. But this has something that most tote bags don't have, a zipper, a zipper. So game changer, it's so like, it's so deep, it's like so big. So this is a really, really, really beautiful bag. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to like really make use of it yet, but I'm really glad that they sent it to me and I feel like this is something that I will have forever. It's so beautiful and well made. The last thing that I wanna talk about is, don't be slightly controversial, but it is my Telfar medium shopping bag. I have this in white. I like the bag and I love everything that Telfar has done so far, but I want more. Is that selfish of me? Like I would rather pay an extra hundred dollars for an adjustable strap. Like if that's what an adjustable strap is gonna cost me, like I would rather pay for it. So the fact that straps aren't adjustable bothers me. You know, the material is, uh, you know, when you hold, uh, like when you hold real leather versus like this canvas, it is 
you know, obvious that like, you know, this is what's gonna be more durable than this. So I don't really see this as a durable bag. So I would recommend if you are interested in buying a Telfar, maybe not, not to buy this size because for me, this size of bag is something that I, you know, can be using as like a diaper bag for my laptop and maybe I'm not like the target customer because I'm literally trying to do the most every day. Whenever I like go out with my bags, I'm trying to put diapers in there and I'm trying to put a book and I'm trying to put my laptop or my camera. So I need something that's like sturdy and I just don't feel like this is sturdy enough. So if you are gonna buy a Telfar, I think you should buy a small Telfar, which I actually bought a small Telfar. I have a bit in white, um, but I haven't unwrapped it yet. My parents brought it with them. I haven't unwrapped it yet because I'm not 100% sure that I wanna keep it. I probably should so that I could just like really compare it like apples to apples, but I'm not a thousand percent happy with this purchase. I'm so sorry, I like, feel bad saying like something bad about, you know, the homies, but that is, that's how I feel. I just don't think that this size of bag is sturdy enough for what I would want to put in this size of bag. It's a really affordable designer bag and I get why if they added, you know, certain elements, it would make it no longer affordable for some people, but I would prefer a couple of extra things to make it and I would I'd be willing to pay for those things so those are my you know unsolicited thoughts on the Telfar Telfar medium shopping bag but yes that brings the conclusion woo, to my black owned 2020 haul um did you count how many pieces those were I was not counting I have no idea how many things I bought the only things that I bought that were not black owned clothing were I bought a, a sleep shirt for a picture for a campaign like in the last month. It was before Belle Blux sent me all these pajamas. I didn't have pajamas to wear that I hadn't already worn for a shoot. I really, really think that's it. I was gifted some other things from non phone companies, but everything that I spent money on, all the clothing that I spent money on this year were by black owned designers. I did not buy any jewelry this year. So yes, those are all of the black owned products that I bought this year. Were you keeping count? Because I was not keeping count, but that was a lot of stuff. I'm really excited that I kind of like stuck to my goal of only buying black in the clothing department. I added on, I tried to add on that I would only buy black in home decor and also beauty. Beauty was really easy to do. So I think in the middle of the year, I have only been buying black owned beauty products. Home decor is a little bit harder to do, so I haven't been as successful with buying black owned home decor, but I am working towards that. And my goal is that I'll always look for something first from a black owned business before I look elsewhere. So yeah, I encourage you, if you are thinking of ways to support black owned businesses, just search whatever you're looking for, black owned business first. And then if you can't find it, fine, buy it off of Amazon. But there are so many businesses, small businesses, minority owned businesses, women owned businesses that are out here really creating really amazing products amazing clothing, amazing shoes, amazing jewelry, amazing bags. So feel free to investigate and support them. <clears throat> yo, my throat, I don't know why, but I think it's just been like, yo girl, you've been talking entirely too much. You haven't had any sip of water, so it's time to cut the video. So yeah, thanks so much guys for watching my black owned clothing haul for 2020. And I will see you in the next video, bye.